you've been searching for a podcast that can motivate you, inspire you, and teach you about business and life all at the same time. Well, we've got you covered. This is Beyond the Blueprint with Matt. Whether you're seeking to unlock the secrets of real estate success or seeking guidance in the world of marketing and coaching, you're in the right place, helping to educate and motivate you through real life experiences with work and life. We'll uncover stories like how a family's homeowning dream turned into their living truth or how a struggling rookie transformed into a top realtor. You'll find there's always a way forward, pushing the boundaries of what's possible. This is Beyond the Blueprint with Matt, and now your host, Matt Sochi. Happy, happy, happy Monday. Um, Today is obviously in honor and remembrance of Martin Luther King Jr., Um, so I wanted to get a podcast out there because I feel like there's a lot of things that we could talk about as far as we go into the year. So as a cliche, you probably heard this before, is looking back at the rearview mirror. Well, I wanted to talk to that point a little bit today because I think it's really, really important. Um, When we start talking about looking back at the rearview mirror, that's really just taking a reflection back at our past. And when you look at your past... Yes, it can help you for your future growth, um, but also it could have a type of adversity to it as well. So I wanted to point across today that when you're looking at your rearview mirror, it's simply a reflection of things you've done in the past or things maybe you didn't do how you wanted to do them to help correct your future. Welcome to Beyond the Blueprint. If you haven't already, make sure you like, subscribe, share with friends and family. Um, This is a podcast of learning new things and tips and tricks and ideas and stuff through lessons that I've learned through time as well that I like to share with everybody. So hopefully you enjoy it. Um, Feel free to send me a message and with any feedback or ideas that you have for a future show. So let's dive back into the rearview mirror reflections. I think a lot of us can go back and even as we go into 2024 and we're so fresh into it is really look back at last year. If you're self-employed or an entrepreneur, there's a lot of things that you could probably look back at and say, you know what? I wish I would have done something different. Or is there something that maybe you wanted to do and you didn't get to that level? My last episode, we talked about smart action plans. Um, A lot of people have been posting on social media about their plans for 2024, different things that they were trying to do or implement in their lives, whether it's for recreation, work, family, etc. And now as we're going into the middle of the month, my question to you is, are you looking in the rearview mirror or are you looking eyes forward ahead? And I think it's really, really important to keep your eyes forward. Um, just like when driving in a car, it's good to look back, back at the rearview mirror, just see what's going on around you. But the thing is, and the key is, you got to keep your eyes forward, right? So whatever that end result goal is. Um, you know, over the last couple weeks, I had an idea of how to help people with social media. Um, over the last two years, I have organically grown my business and company through the use of social media. And I wanted to talk about that a little bit today. And I get asked a lot of questions is, how do you do it, right? And if you just start with the bare bones and basics, the hardest part is just getting started, right? So when you're getting started is, it can go left, right, sideways, diagonal, but it's, you gotta start somewhere and you gotta start with the foundation. Um, So in this new social media lounge mastermind group that has been created, Um, almost 100 um, uh, members already is that I have people in there to collaborate work together and to grow strength in numbers with their social media to help drive organic growth for their business so that was one of my plans that I was going to do last year didn't really know how to implement it I was still learning things myself but I'm really really excited about this group because my goal is to help people get better and stronger and more successful by doing things that are proven to work. So when we talk about rear rear view mirror reflections, it's really about 
looking back at things that we've done and how do we do them better. So if you did listen to the last episode, my question to everybody out there is how are you doing with your action plans? How are you doing with your discipline? And how are you doing with your motivation to achieve your goals as we go into 2024? Um, I know for myself, I've put some aggressive goals out there and it's not about transactions or how many loans I closed or clear to closes, et cetera, but it's about how many people can I help? That's my goal this year. And by doing that, I am learning as I'm going and I'm working with people who have done it very well. And I am learning um, and teaching myself how to do that so that way I could teach it back to others. So a couple questions here that I came up with and I thought that might be kind of interested. Um, and I, I want to read them out loud and, and kind of tell a little story here. So first one, what was a moment or decision in my past that I initially regretted but later came to appreciate so if I could talk about the mortgage world and when I first started and I literally did not have a clue where to start right I thought oh let me call some of my realtor buddies up that have been doing real estate and then they'll just send me business and I was like well that's probably not going to work or be efficient so I started just hitting people up on social media and just being like, hey, just let you know I do mortgages, I have great customer service rates, blah, 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 blah. And, you know, at first I look back because I do have, you know, people that join our team and I do talk to other people out there is that, you know, they don't feel comfortable doing that. And, you know, I look back at that as I didn't care if you said yes, no, go kick rocks, but I kept doing it. Um, but at times I kept getting turned down what happened was I kind of felt like, why am I doing this, right? <clears throat> so going to the question is something I regretted, but now appreciate. And I would say is taking the leap in the social media, not necessarily did I regret it, but I was very uncomfortable doing it. So looking back at it, fast forward four years later is it's probably one of the best things I ever did was to take those steps and try to learn how to utilize the different social media aspects we have, which include Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, LinkedIn, you name it, all the different avenues out there. And I learned so much through it, through mistakes, um, doing things the wrong way, not so much cold calling, but cold reaching out to people. And then something clicked and it was really, how do I get content out there that's kind of fun and watch, you know, make people watch it and share it. And that's what I started doing last year. And I was looking, I was talking to somebody who joined our group and they were like, man, I'm really uncomfortable. And I was like, well, that's the whole purpose of this program and mastermind is to get you basically being comfortable, um, you know, being uncomfortable. And it takes the first steps. And we have a pretty... Um, astound uh, agenda here in what we're going to be doing in this group so that way people take baby steps because just like I talked about in the last episode is a lot of people have aggressive goals going into 2024 but if you have a huge goal it's going to take a lot of little baby steps and, and victories along the way to reach them and it's just not going to happen overnight and the same thing that goes on into this group is that when I started on my social media which gets me business automatically by sharing content that's valuable is it takes time to build up, you know, and I'm not saying I have a lot of people that follow it. I mean, I think close to 6,000 people. It's still a lot of people. In my opinion, I'd like that number to grow, but the only way it could keep growing is by keep doing. And, you know, you do have to put on your, your hat, if you will. And when I talk to people that are in my industry, real estate and or mortgages, the first thing I say to them is your job is to be a marketer. That's what we are. We're marketers. We market to people. People share it. People learn. People come and want to do business with you. So looking back at it is, yeah, it, it was a crazy path and there was a lot of roadblocks, objections, resilience, and at points just saying, screw it, whatever. And you got to stick to it. And no matter what is you learn as you go, and as you go, you're going to make mistakes, but you're going to learn from them and you're going to grow from them. And that's the only way to get better at what you're doing. So if anybody out there has something similar to that or that situation, um, 
you know, my, um, my thoughts out to you is, is, and my message to you is just go after it, start with baby steps, you know, start posting every other day or a couple times a week and then keep growing that because I will tell you this, when I do go on vacation and or up to our cabin and I don't post as much, I can see through different insights that it kind of drops down and then all of a sudden, boom, I'm back in the game. Things are going back up. But it's a huge thing because I went from reaching out to people and then over the last year not reaching out to anybody, people are reaching out to me. And that's not saying that I am any different than anybody else or anybody else that's listening to this to this podcast or watching it. But what that's saying is is that if you provide content that's funny, valuable, and has some engagement, it's going to come to you. That way you're not the one on the line annoying people with your cold calls that nobody wants to listen to or care about. So I'll leave it at that. Um, advice, any advice I could give to my younger self? Well, number one is I should have learned about this industry way before I did. You know, I'm 38 years old, been doing this for going on five years now. And a lot of people are starting to change directions, going from working in the rat race, W2, to being self-employed. And a lot of us that are newer into being self-employed and being a business owner would probably tell themselves the same thing is that I wish I did this when I was younger. So I'm always telling our kids and, and other people I talk to that are young is that you have an opportunity to grow an empire, if you will, if you could get started young and have the right people in your circle. And the advice I would give you is don't ever give up fail to succeed because failure is a basically a a direction of success because the most um we'll call it not famous but the most uh successful people out there have failed so many times and over time over time over time and you know what they've learned from each opportunity that they've had i've failed quite a few times building uh, you know, not building a company, but making decisions that, you know, you learn from them so that moving forward, um, you know, when you're building a team or a company that you don't fall into that trap again. And I think it's important that everybody looks into the rearview mirror only to reflect on the things that they've done, celebrate the wins, and then keep your eyes looking forward onto your main goal. And when you achieve it, time to celebrate so hopefully everyone is kicking butt it's the middle of the month um, of january there are roughly um 11 and a half months left in the year and i feel like there's gonna be a lot of great things i feel like the people out there are literally driving as hard as they can to make 2024 better than 2023 and i stand behind that so um hopefully you know Everyone gets a little bit of a nugget here. I try to keep these short, fast drive home. You can listen to the whole thing. You don't have to come back to it. But um, I can't wait to get some more content out there for you guys. And I'm so excited um, about 2024. Also, if you are a entrepreneur, you are self-employed, or you have a business of some sort, and you'd like to join our private Facebook group, Social Media Lounge, the Mastermind Group. Please send me a note. I'd love to have you um, part of our group. There's going to be a lot of great things coming out this year. Um, some people that are very good with video editing, uh, chat GPT, and different AI type programs to help everybody. But that's the main goal is that I promise you, if you give it your all in this group, and for example, if you're a realtor, I promise you that you could grow your business, additional leads per year referral programs etc and it's definitely uh, a kick-ass program so hopefully everyone has a great rest of your day thank you so much for listening and make sure to share like um, invite anybody to our group and or our podcast this is matt with beyond the blueprint i look forward to talking to you guys on the next episode you've been listening to beyond the blueprint with matt Matt's passion is to talk about breaking the mold and exploring the uncharted territories of mortgages, real estate, faith, marketing, coaching, and so much more. Helping to show you there's always a way forward. 
Thanks so much for listening to the show. We hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to like, rate, review, and subscribe. We'll be back soon. But in the meantime, you can find us on YouTube and Facebook and on all the major podcast channels at Beyond the Blueprint. See you next time. <laughs>